Hi, my name is Reed Rudden and I'm a sheep and goat specialist for Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. Here this afternoon to demonstrate kind of a little bit about uh, how we manage used uh, right up before the breeding season. So generally uh, 30 days or so before we go to the breeding season, we're going to get all the ewes into a pen, uh, run them across the weigh scale, pop them on. Uh, one of the most important things uh, when we have some mature ewes in the pen is making sure that we didn't have any udder issues from the year before. So we like to get them before, feel that other. If there's any knots or any concerns where she had bad mastitis the year before, we're probably gonna go ahead and call the you. Next step is the body condition. So feel over the loin here. Um, there's lots of resources online about body condition score. This use about a body condition score of uh, two and three quarters. We'd like them to be above a body condition three before we breed. So we're probably gonna put her on, on a little bit better plan of diet, maybe rotate her to a new pasture, maybe drench her, whatever we gotta do to get her up in body condition. Uh, we do have a scale here where we can collect a weight on them. We do this, this is a, a group of ewes that are on NSIP, so we like to get a weight at breeding. And then the last thing we do uh, during this breeding soundness exam prior to breeding is making sure that their teeth are still good. So this is an older ewe, and you can see that her teeth are getting to spread out a little bit. Um, they're, they're getting a little bit short, she's kind of worn them down. Uh, so she's kind of skeptical, that might be why she's a little bit light in condition. So we just kind of go off the records, look at her, and then make a decision whether we feel like we've got a good enough feed resources ahead that we can keep her around another year, or more than likely we're gonna call her. So that's kind of how we go through and do our breeding soundness exams on our use prior to breeding.